New at 11, imagine your water bill tripling in just one month. A woman in the village says it happened to her. After News 6 got her message, investigator Eric Sandoval went to her home to get results. And as he found out, other homes are getting flooded with high water bills too, and the residents don't know why. When I saw 35,525 gallons used, I nearly fainted. 89-year-old Maxine Miller says she's on a fixed income without a fix after her water bill more than tripled from around $30 to more than $100. Say 13, mm -hmm. 14, 12. Mm -hmm. So these are my normal bills. Usually, around, and then it jumps to 35. If I had that much water, I'd be walking in mud. Miller says the water company first notified her, saying there could be a leak. So she called someone to check it out. He turned on the sprinklers, he went around and he checked them all, and he said I didn't have a leak. And Miller says she is not the only one. Friend next door got the same problem, an excessive use of water. Then my neighbor at the end of the cul-de-sac got an excessive use of water. But a new six investigation uncovered others in the villages have reported the same problem to their district boards. Like this woman at the North Sumter County Utility Dependent District meeting last July. I think I have enough evidence, so to speak, to prove that that water never went on my yard. And this man who was hit with a $1,200 water bill for using more than 200,000 gallons of water. They had a spike of uh, 201,000 gallons of uh, yeah. irrigation in one month. And just to help you understand what, put it into perspective, a lot of the water towers that you all see that we have in our system are in that 150 to 200,000 gallon range. So when you're looking at a water tower, that's about 200,000 gallons. With all these people having unreasonably high water bills without a leak, we wanted to know what the problem could be. So we started with the water meters. Miller's meter seemed to be working, but her next door neighbor's was a different story. Does Thanks. anybody see a reading here? No. no. This is my house. While the meter across the street was underwater. So is there something wrong with the water meters? And more importantly, what can be done to rectify the situation? We're taking those questions here inside the water district. I'm sure you've heard your fair share of complaints about high water bills. <laughs> well, recently, yes. Recently, his board worked to get results on unexplained high water use. They changed their policy, creating a tiered system for credits. So if your water bill claimed you used a lot more water and you didn't use it, you'd get a bigger credit. We've satisfied most of our complaints. Uh, for some reason, the other water boards here in the villages have not. Rademacher says if a water meter is not working, they'll send someone out to take a look, and that he hopes new water meters that are coming will help find leaks. We find out in most cases is some system in the house that we have no control of, a toilet that's running. In the villages, Eric Sandoval getting results, new six. 200,000 <laughs> gallons. How is that even possible? You know, they say once is, you know, just chance, twice is coincidence, third time, we got a problem. Something's going on. Yeah, <laughs> right. yeah, we got to look at that. So News 6 has called and emailed members of Maxine's Utility Board, and we have not yet heard back. We will continue to push for results. Yeah, it's a fascinating story. If you have a problem with your water bill, let our investigative team know. So take out your phone right now, pull out the camera, scan that QR code on the right side of your screen. Our investigators email should pop up. You click that link and then you'll send a message directly to our team. They're compiling stories right now to try to help folks out.